In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for BaOH2 plus FeSO4. This is barium hydroxide plus iron 2 sulfate. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. In this case, the molecular equation, it's already balanced, so that's nice. Then we need to write the state for each substance. Barium hydroxide, that's going to be soluble, so a strong electrolyte, we're going to consider that soluble. Iron 2 sulfate, sulfates are often soluble, most often soluble, if you know your solubility rules. That's aqueous, but there is an exception. Let's take a look at a solubility table here. So we go down the positive ions and we find barium right here, and our sulfate is right here. And you can see S for most of the sulfates, that means they're soluble. But as we go over here, we see this I for barium sulfate. So barium sulfate, and then strontium sulfate, lead sulfate, they're insoluble. And because of that, they won't dissolve. So we're gonna write an S for solid. When these two substances react, this is gonna be a solid. It's gonna to fall to the bottom of the test tube. This is a precipitation reaction. Then iron two hydroxide, we should look that one up too. Hydroxides are often insoluble. So we come down here, we find iron two and then the hydroxide, so we'll come down. And iron two hydroxide right here, that's insoluble as well. So we actually have two solids formed in this reaction. It's kind of interesting, you don't see that very often. So go back, and this is gonna be a solid as well. So this will also fall to the bottom of the test tube as a solid. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes up into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So barium hydroxide, barium group two, that'll be two plus this whole hydroxide, one minus. So we have Ba2 plus, and I won't write the states now, and then we have two hydroxides. This sulfate, that's gonna be the whole thing, two minus, that's good to know. The iron, we don't know, but since this is two minus, it has to be two plus. So we'll have the iron two ion, that's Fe2 plus, plus we'll have the sulfate ion, SO4, two minus. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids up when we do net ionic equations. So these we're just gonna write as they are. So this is our complete ionic equation. After that, we'll cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. But in this case, there's nothing that's the same on both sides, so we can't cross anything out. So it's the complete ionic equation, but it's also the net ionic equation. Let me clean this up. We'll write the states in and have our net ionic equation. So this is both the complete ionic equation and the net ionic equation for BaOH2 plus FeSO4. If you look, you'll see that the charge is balanced. We have two plus, two minus, two plus, two minus. That all adds up to zero. This is a neutral compound. Both of these are neutral. So their net charge is zero. That works out. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for BaOH2 plus FeSO4, barium hydroxide plus iron 2 sulfate. Thanks for watching.